the evidence is conflicting. And unfortunately, research consistently shows that most people simply don't push their sets hard enough to maximize muscle growth. It's very common to see people hitting the gym year after year, but making no noticeable progress. In most cases, this isn't because they've maxed out their natural potential. Instead, it's usually because they simply aren't pushing their sets close enough to failure to stimulate new hypertrophy. So this is the new meta-analysis, which found that as you get closer and closer to failure, the more muscle growth you tend to see. And this is their bombshell figure that you've probably seen floating around online. Here on the x-axis, we have reps in reserve. So this point here at zero would be failure, where you couldn't do another rep if you tried. This point would be two reps shy of failure. This would be 10 reps shy of failure, all the way down to 22 reps shy of failure, which would basically just be the easiest set imaginable. And then here on the y-axis is muscle growth. And as you can see from the trend line, as you get closer and closer to failure, you see more and more muscle growth. And in fact, as you go from two reps in the tank to zero reps in the tank, muscle growth really spikes up. So naturally, a lot of people who endorse high intensity to failure training have been using this study to make their case that if you wanna maximize muscle growth, you need to push sets all the way to failure. And I do think they have a pretty good case for that training approach with this study. However, what I haven't seen them showing is this other brand new meta-analysis from 2022, which pulled 15 studies based on slightly different inclusion criteria and came to a different conclusion. Quote, there is no evidence to support that resistance training performed to momentary muscular failure is superior to non-failure resistance training for muscle hypertrophy. So what's going on here? Well, it seems that depending on which specific studies you include and how you run the statistics, you can either come away from this body of science thinking that going all the way to failure really is a lot better for muscle growth, or that going all the way to failure doesn't actually offer a meaningful benefit over stopping a few reps shy. The evidence is conflicting. So what should we do practically speaking? Well, this is my takeaway. Do two to three sets on most exercises and take the last set all the way to failure. For the first one or two sets, leave one or two reps in the tank. So leave a few reps in the tank for the earlier sets and send it to hell on the last set.